Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the products that I've been loving for November. I've been getting a lot of messages saying what products are you loving, you get a lot of stuff, you do a lot of hauls, what are you using on a regular basis? So I sat down, it's December 1st, I'm seeing what did I use this month that I really loved? So I sat down really grabbed the products that I loved and decided to film a video for you guys. So let's get into it. I have a big mixture of body and face and fragrance and home fragrance. So you'll definitely get a sense of what I use on a daily basis. So starting with the shower, I'm the type of person I could never use the same shower gel or soap every single day, it would drive me crazy. I love variety, I love choice. I'm definitely a, someone who scent really changes their mood. So if I find something that I really like, I don't wanna use it every day, I'll get sick of it. So it's really important to find that balance. Right now, for the month of November, I'm like, what have I been using a lot? And it's hands down the Winter Candy Apple Confetti Moisturizing Body Wash. I love this so much. It's enriched with shea butter, coconut oil, and cocoa butter. What's awesome about this is it has the same lathering effect of the shower gel, but you feel so much more hydrated after. It is retail season, and I know with COVID, people need to be staying home. I work in retail. I'm still working every day, and I need something sometimes I just need to get in the shower, wash my body, and get out. And I find that this really leaves me super soft and hydrated, not having to worry about hydrating my body afterwards. I'm literally obsessed with this. And Winter Candy Apple is one of my favorite scents. It just feels super nostalgic for Christmas. Now, when I am hydrating my body, what do I go for? None other than the Beekman 1802 Snow Forest Body Cream. They have captured the essence of Christmas in a body cream, and I honestly don't know how Beekman did it. You smell the sweet fallen snow, you smell the rich fir tree, and the formulation of their body creams is unlike anything I've ever seen. So it goes on like the most luxurious body milk. You put it on, it sinks right in, you're never greasy, and you know how sometimes when you have the rich hydrating body creams, they can almost feel like you're wearing a second skin, and sometimes I don't really like that. With the Beekman, you put it on, you get dressed, you go out for the day, and you don't really have to worry about that feeling. So to me, when you pair a really hydrating body wash with a really hydrating body cream, you're set to go all day and you smell great. Now with the smelling great, what perfume have I been going with a lot this month? I love Super Cedar from Byredo. It has, I mean, I smell and I'm like, yeah, that was me this month. It has this really, really earthy, woodsy cedar scent, hence the name Super Cedar, but it smells so elegant and sophisticated. I can't believe to tell you how many people have complimented me on this scent. Even through a mask, you can smell it without being overwhelming, without being overpowering. The cedar is really fresh and crisp, just masculine enough where it's not like he's definitely wearing a perfume, but it, it smells just so rich and sophisticated. I am loving it and I feel like I'm gonna be wearing this the month of December too. Something about when you have a scarf, you have your jacket and you're going out in the cold and you get whiffs of this, it symbolizes cold weather for me. I love it. That is Super Cedar from Byredo. It's expensive, but it's definitely worth it. Sticking with products that you use in the shower, the Tatcha Rice Wash. Tatcha really can do no wrong, in my opinion, for skincare. So when they came out with the rice wash, for one, the packaging is exquisite. It's this beautiful, silky, purple color gradient, has a really hefty cap, and you it comes out like a rich cream. I'll do a little zoom in on the camera. But it smells like typical Tatcha. You get that really, really watery fragrance. This says a pH neutral cl cream cleanser of rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizing. Yes, 
Now, I believe the inspiration for this was the rice water baths that they made or that they cleaned rice in. They would use that water to clean their skin, to purify their skin in the Japanese culture. So they captured this in a cleanser. Now it states a soft cream cleanser for normal to dry skin. With winter, I live in Pennsylvania. It's very cold here, very dry climate in the winter. So with forced air heat and things like that, having an already hydrating cleanser really makes a difference. I put a little bit on my hands, massage it, it creates this really, really nice lather. Massage it on my face and rinse it off. I feel so clean without feeling stripped. Now, I can't get enough, it is expensive, but you literally need the smallest amount of this cleanser. I would say if you're using it twice a day, easily lasts you three months. I know it's only, how many ounces is this? Four ounces, but it's definitely worth it. And I do know they have a friends and family going on now with 20% off. Not sure how long it lasts, but like all Tasha products, it's 100% worth it. In the same vein of luxury skincare, the Clean Dirt from May Lindstrom. This was an old love of mine. If you remember, back in whenever I was younger, I would buy so many products, test out so many products. Like, I would try new brands all the time, new products. I didn't know what worked or what didn't. But now that I'm older, I really understand the true meaning of a routine. And when using a product every day for a routine, that's when you notice the difference in your skin. And I remember May Lindstrom, and I remember, wow, that brand's expensive. Like, this is a 6.76 ounce exfoliant for $70. I could go through the May Lindstrom process and the brand with you, but that'd be a whole long video. Just know every ingredient here you can pronounce. May Lindstrom is one of the most beautiful human beings I've ever seen in my life. Her Instagram is so aesthetic and her packaging and her products are to die for. So this is the Clean Dirt. It's a brightening, exfoliating treatment. How it works, this is a powder in this black jar. I take about a teaspoon of powder in my hand, massage it with water, and then mix and it turns into this really moussey foam. If you don't get that moussey foam texture, add more product or add more water until you understand the balance. I promise after a couple uses, you will know how it works. When you massage it into your skin, you keep massaging. There's H2O, which water activated um, vitamin C, there's clays, there's cinnamon, and there's mineral salts that are gonna break down the dirt, the grime, and the oil in the skin. Massage on your skin for like 30 seconds, let it sit your entire shower. So I'll wash my hair, rinse it, add conditioner, do this, wash my body, rinse my body, rinse my conditioner, and then rinse this off. As you rinse it off, continue the massage, and after it's completely rinsed off, continue the massage. That's going to really stimulate the skin, bring that new skin forward, and I promise you, you have never felt more clean in your life without feeling stripped. So it's an exfoliating treatment I use about twice a week. When I feel a little bit congested, I feel like my skin needs a little bit more love. When I put that on my skin, it transforms. Now, another amazing thing about it, it smells like cinnamon cookies. It smells like gingerbread cookies, anything really warm and bakery. It's incredible, and it's even better paired with these cloths. May Lindstrom, I remember whenever I was really getting back into the brand, she was talking years ago about creating a washcloth and never did because she wanted to create the perfect washcloth. This is the perfect washcloth. It literally feels like you are rubbing a baby like koala bear on your hand, on your face. It is the silkiest, most luxurious cloth I've ever felt in my life. Paired with any of her products, removing masks. Sometimes I will just like press this warm onto my skin and I feel like I'm at like a five star spa at the Ritz Carlton. Awesome, and I've used these so many times. Wash on cool water. I line dry them, but you could definitely put them on low heat. But if you take care of this, it'll take care of you. And stop using rough washcloths on your face. Honestly, invest in these. Even if you don't lose, use May Lindstrom products, you will find a difference. And it's a nice size. Like, it's twice the size of my head. It definitely works. It's not like a little tiny cloth. You definitely feel it. And when you massage this on your face, 
It's like washing your face with a little baby. It's amazing. So definitely, May Lindstrom, treat yourself this Christmas or put it on your Christmas list because it's definitely worth it. Continuing on in my shower, now I probably should have went in order on how I use these products, but whatever. You notice my bright blue hair? Yeah, thanks to X Mondo. Brad Mondo is an Instagram phenomenon. He's on TikTok. He makes great YouTube videos. He's a celebrity hairstylist who's been doing hair for years. I was so excited when he created a hairline. I needed to try it. And he recently created a color. If you haven't seen the video, I dyed my hair blue, definitely check it out. This is the X Mondo color that I did myself to turn my hair blue, and I couldn't be happier with the results. But to keep it blue, I purchased the Polychrome Color Extending Shampoo and Conditioner. It has vitamin E, lots of essential oils and minerals to lock in the hair color at the root, really creating that barrier, hydrating, nourishing. I have used this shampoo and this conditioner for probably two weeks now, and you can see it's gone down a little bit. They last a long time, and the scent is like heaven. There's, I believe, jasmine, it doesn't say, but I will say it says, lock up and make it last. Polychrome Color Extending Shampoo is designed to prolong the life of your color by sealing it in at a molecular level. Prevent color fading with added UV protection, vibrant hair for longer, because why settle for anything less? X Mondo Color and X Mondo Hair, he creates some amazing products. I have his Glitterati Serum and his BDSM styling balm in my hair. I, I'm obsessed. Let me know if you guys want to see a whole hair care routine on what I do to keep my hair, but I really do like it. I'm happy with the color. I'm excited to try out some new colors, and now that I've tried a lot of products from his line, I know none of them will fail me, and I'm excited to try the rest. So I definitely recommend. There's lots of different ones for different hair types, so definitely look and see what your hair type is on the website and what is best. He does have a hair quiz. I highly recommend X Mondo Color. I love it. Ending the video with fragrance, I have one melt and one candle. We'll start with the melts. I am obsessed with Almond Croissant from Scentsy. I know it's not super Christmassy. Neither of these scents are actually really Christmassy that I'm going to talk about, but this Almond Croissant is a powerhouse. I will add a couple cubes to my warmer in the morning and three, four days later of it being on 24-7, I can still smell it. I can't honestly believe it. It lasts and lasts and lasts, you guys. Almond Croissant is a powerhouse. It has that really rich bakery almond, the flaky pastry, the butter. It, oh, It's so good. I, I'm obsessed, and I hope they never discontinue it. If it does, I'll make sure to add it to my club so it's never gone. And as far as candles go, not a Christmas scent, but I've been loving Bay from Diptyque lately. Um, black currants and roses. It's just fabulous. And I want to say I can't stand when people are like, that's so basic. Basic, it's not basic. It's something that the brand is known for. People love this Bay Candle because it's so perfect. They have done it so well. Diptyque has captured what a true perfect fragrance is in a jar, and that's why it's so good. It's Bulgarian roses, black currants, green notes, watery notes to create a perfect candle. It surrounds your home with fragrance. It smells so good. And to me, nothing smells like home more like the Bay Candle. And it really irritates me when people are like, it's just so basic. It's basic because it's good. People love it because it's good. So definitely pick up Bay. I know it's an investment, but if you've never tried it, it's definitely worth it. I know Nordstrom sells it. If you're lucky enough to go to a Diptyque, to live near a Diptyque store, definitely pop in, or I know with COVID, try to stay away from stores as much as you can. Especially smelling things, taking down your masks, don't do that. Order online, if you don't like it, you can always return it, but I don't think you'll ever not like this. But 
that was my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give my video a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.